Sweet or savory? The debate over the preferred flavors for zongs in China has been ongoing, with people from the north and south have differing opinions. As a northerner in Shanghai, I'm curious to know what locals choose for their zongs options. Shanghai's local residents are crazy about traditional and authentic flavors, particularly zongs with meat and egg yolk, which have been our bestsellers for more than a decade. As it is a time-honored brand, so I trust its quality and flavor completely. Their classic flavors are exceptionally delicious. You won't be able to get any after 9 a.m. While traditional flavors still dominate the market, more and more businesses are exploring innovative options. Just a few days before the Dragon Boat Festival, I noticed that Hema's rice dumplings trending all over social media, and now let's head to Hema to take a closer look. It has boba taste. So it's like a bubble tea filling. You have heard this meal, Mr. Teacher? This taste. Okay, he's never heard of it. Never mind. Wow, Dragon Boat dumplings. Do you guys know this? So basically, let me see. It has like seven eggs in it, which symbolizes, I believe, good luck in Chinese culture. Hmm. I'm gonna take a bite of luck later, then. Oh, some frozen zongs in the fridge. Wow, it actually has like many different unique flavors here. What is this? Let me see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna ask the staff here to explain more about it. This year, we are targeting the consumption habits of young people and incorporating elements of afternoon tea into our zongzi. The sought-after taro purple rice and cheese zongzi, as well as coconut fragrant highland barley zongzi, sold out within a month, leading up to the Dragon Ball Festival, with over 100,000 pieces purchased. During the festive period, zongzi with symbolic meaning sell exceptionally well. A current trend in zongzi is the Dragon Ball zongzi, which has an auspicious connotation of fortune and success, making it a sought-after delicacy during the festival. While checking out different flavors of the zongzi, I also learned how seasonal foods can be made and sold throughout the year. And as a person from the younger generation, I absolutely love the idea of innovating and modernizing traditional dishes. Transforming zongzi into a dessert makes it perfect for other occasions, like afternoon tea. What do you think?